14th, so yesterday, everybody has seen that the express entry program basically went berserk. 27,332 invitations and the lowest score in this whole big announcement here <laughs> with this surprise draw is the lowest score was 75. So the question I have is simply this. How does someone actually get 75 CRS points? I'm going to explain that in just a second. All right, so here we go. Express entry, surprise draw. How does someone actually get 75 points? I've been thinking about this all day today. It has just been really, like it's just been puzzling me. And so finally, I sat down and I just took a look at the possibilities to see what could potentially create a score of 75. And if you go back to the website and let's go right over here to the rounds of invitations. <laughs> and this is what we're talking about. So we know that the person came in through the Canadian Experience class. So that's, that's the starting point. We know that they received an invitation with 75 points. Now, this is the best place to start is to work through the tool. But my goodness, I went through all of the ranking, all of the points, testing out all kinds of configurations to see within this comprehensive ranking system, what would total 75 points? And I'll start off by telling you guys something. You can't do it unless you're married <laughs> or you're in a common law relationship. You can't reach 75 unless you're in a relationship. So there's no configuration that I could find that would allow someone to get 75 points as a single applicant. There just wasn't any configuration. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I mean by this. So let's go over here. We'll go to the comprehensive ranking system. We're gonna go to the government's own CRS tool and we're gonna start to put things together. The first thing you have to realize is with the Canadian Experience class, the minimum eligibility requirement that you need is just one year of skilled work experience and at least a CLB5. That's basically a 4555 on the IELTS. So marital status, I'm going to show you. We're going to put in here never married. How old are you? This person is going to be old. No age points. Okay, none at this stage. We may add some and yeah, we probably will in a second but we're treating this person as being over age, level of education. You can't have any high school. Otherwise, you'll get over 75 if you have one year of Canadian work experience. And if you have, um, that's going to give you 40 points. And if you have uh, an IELTS score of four in reading and five in all the other three abilities, that's going to give you another 24 points. And if you add in high school, that's going to give you either 28 or 30 points, depending on if you're married, which pushes you over 75. So this person, <laughs> they, they don't have high school. There's no way they can have high school, or at least they never claimed it in their, in their profile. Okay, and then we go down to degrees and diplomas. Have you earned anything in Canada? No. Official languages. Just for the, the purposes of our exercise here, I'm just going to pick the cell pip just because five is the minimum and the cell pip is five. You guys can do you know, the equating as we go through this, essentially to get a five on the CLB, um, a five CLB with IELTS, you need to have a four in reading and a five in all the other abilities. But we'll just treat it cell pip just for the ease of, of this calculation and then nothing else. Work experience, we're giving them one year in Canada. Okay, so that's 40 points. And then no overseas work experience. We're not claiming any of it, okay? Then no for the certificate of qualification. There's no job offer. There's no nomination. And do your spouse have a sibling? Heck no. No, no, no. So if we do strip it down to its very, very bare essentials with just the minimum um, that you need to get through the Canadian Experience class, 64 points is actually the bare minimum that you can get. 
So I wasn't even sure what would be required, but to be a single applicant on your own, meeting the eligibility requirements, the very lowest score you can get is 64. So now how do we get to 75? Well, every configuration that I tried, everyone I tried would always go either above or below 75 without having a spouse who could add in two points or one point at a time. So as an individual, 64 is where you stand. So let's shift over and I'll show you what this person likely had. There's two different variations that I saw. Maybe if you see another one, you can let me know. But I guess this is what the express entry lawyer does all day. I just try to work out these calculations to see how in the world, like I said right here, how does a person get actually get CR, CRS 75? How do they do that? Okay, back to adding a spouse. So let's go up here to the top and we're going to add in a spouse. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to give this principal applicant a spouse here. So we'll say married. That works for me. <clears throat> Are they Canadian resident? No, they're not because we need points for them. Yes, they're accompanying. Okay. Now here's the kicker. This is what I had to do. I had to drop this person down to 44. So they got five points. There might be another way of calculating this, but this individual has to be about 44 years old. Then what is the level of education? It's still high school. Because remember what I said? The moment you add in those extra 28 or 30 points for high school, boom, you're over 75 points. Okay, so none of that applies. Now, the other adjustment that I'm going to make with this first variety, this first version, I'll call it, of 75, is that we need to bump up one of these scores. We'll take, um, we'll take speaking and we will make speaking a six. Okay, so that's going to add on just six more points, okay? But anytime you add a spouse, remember the spouse is gonna drop the principal applicant's score down. So let's continue on here. In addition, they've got the one year of, um, of Canadian work experience, no foreign work experience, and we've already adjusted the age to, yes, we've already adjusted the age to 44. And so we basically, none of this changes. Um, what we have to do now, though, is we have to add some information for the actual spouse. So what is the highest level of education for the spouse? Okay, in this situation, we're going to give this spouse, we have to give this spouse a two-year program. So they've gone and get, they have gone and received an educational credential assessment of two years, which gives an extra seven points. And then it says how many years of Canadian work experience? None. And did they write a test? Yes, they did. And in this case, this spouse has got speaking. And once again, we'll go with the cell, but just so it's easier. Five, listening, five, and then we'll give reading a four and writing a four. Okay, now when we've tallied up all of this and we click calculate, now is where you'll see the amazing little score of 75 right down here, okay? <laughs> My goodness. So who is this person again? Potentially, this person is married. This person has scores of 6, 5, 5, 5, or on the IELTS, they've got speaking 5.5, writing 5, listening 5, reading 4. That's what's going to get them the, 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 basically the language scores they need. They have one year of skilled Canadian work experience. They've got no high school. They are 44 years old and they have no siblings, no French, nothing else. And then they have a spouse who's written the test and has a CLB of 5544, which gets an extra two points. And they the spouse has a two-year program, okay? That's configuration one that gets us to 75. And there was one other one. If you guys find something different, I'd love for you to tell me what it is. So let's go back up here again. And this time we're going to do version two that could also potentially get to 75. And I would love to see this person. If they're watching this video and you're the one who got 75, I'd love to hear exactly what your profile was set up as to get you 75 points. Okay. So once again, married and the spouse is coming. The person is still 44 years old. 
So we still need those extra five points for age. Level of education still, no high school. Um, official language, okay, on the official language here, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna say that the principal applicant is actually at a five. So they don't have any extra bonus, so that gives them 24 points. Um, do they have any other language? No. Uh, experience in Canada is still one year. And then if we scroll down here further, no job offer, no nomination, no siblings in Canada. And then we get to the spouse. In this case, the spouse has no education whatsoever. So zero points for education. But this spouse has one year of work experience, at least skilled and skill level B in Canada. And this spouse has um, basically a CLB6. So in this case, the spouse has gotten six in everything here, okay? So a six, and actually I have to, I, I made a mistake. Speaking actually needs to be a seven for this spouse, okay? So the spouse has a CLB seven uh, in speaking and six is across the board. The cell PIP is the same as the Canadian language benchmark. So then when we calculate this, if you scroll down, you will see that this also equates to 75 points. My goodness. Okay, it's a little bit crazy. I know I'm a little bit, I don't know what you would call me, <laughs> but it's like 1 a.m. mountain time. And I've spent the last hour just, it's almost like I couldn't sleep. I needed to figure out how in the world a person could actually get 75 points. And like I said before, when it comes to the actual draws, um, <laughs> with this magical surprise draw, if we go back to, to the website again and we click on the rounds of invitations, all this person needed to do was meet that minimum eligibility for the CEC, which really was 64 points, the one year of skilled work experience, and a minimum CLB5. And after that, well, uh, the rest is gravy. So this person had 75 points. <laughs> There we go. Now, I don't know if anyone is actually watching this as I'm just sitting here musing. Uh, we're going to, I'm just going to pull this up and see if someone is actually watching. Um, okay, we've got someone saying, do we expect more draws for CEC upcoming months? Yes, this is just the beginning, you guys. This is just the beginning. Um, okay, this person says, I have a score of 432. I still didn't get an idea. What could be the problem? I'm still gonna tell you, my friend, right here, I'm gonna clap for you because you will get it. As long as you actually are in the pool with CEC, there's 27,330, what do we have here, two? 27,332 invitations extended, so yours is on the way. All right, and yes, Sager, Big shout out to you. I'm going to give you one of these claps as well because that is absolutely unbelievable. And you guys who've got your ITA, go down, subscribe to the course. Let me guide you through this process. You do not get a second chance, you guys. You do not. Bonjour to Asani here. Yes, it is midnight. It's crazy. Um... <laughs> Sager says it's 3 a.m. and he's got some crazy faces. Um, and then we've got some people asking about Outlands. Understand, guys, don't give up. I want you to go back, watch the video that I posted earlier today. I guess it was yesterday um, where I talk about the benefits to, to the Outlanders. There's going to be ripple effects to the PNPs. There's going to be massive ripple effects to the PNP programs, and you guys who are thinking the world has come to an end, you may very well see some notifications of interest. So make sure you get your pool in there. Make sure that you've got it in there. Okay, this is my perfect. <laughs> can I check LMIA fake or not? Sure, I'm sure you can. Okay, <laughs> it's 3 a.m. in Ontario, Ontario, just finished work. My goodness. How about you, Raj? Did you get a notification? Did you get an ITA? I'd love to hear if you did. Okay, we got uh, we got uh, Rishikesh who's here, uh, Berzarius is here, um, Himanshu says, how is IRC, IRCC going to manage? Well, they're hiring tons of officers. They've hired 90 new officers, 30 in the, in the end of last year, another 60 this year. 
And uh, what does that mean for all of you who are submitting your applications? You better have them perfect because those officers are going to be watching those checklists that they have closely. And if anything's missing, boom, your application is going to get returned. All right. Um, hey, Mark, can we expect CC draw near about 370? Well, the, the reality is um, 370, very, I think if they do another draw right away here, it's entirely likely that it might happen. It is possible um, that we could see this again and that this isn't the end. We know that 27,332 is not going to be enough to meet the quota in and of itself. This is just the beginning, folks. Just the beginning. Okay. They said it will take 13 and 14th of February to send the invitations to apply. The ITA, well, I guess we'll see. 13 and 14th of February to send the ITA. Well, we'll just have to see. Like I said, there's 27,000. Um, any chance for age 55 getting to immigrate? Well, if you're in Canada, Athena, and you have Canadian work experience, then age is irrelevant, just like I showed you guys. Um, what website can calculate CEC? Do you mean qualifications for the Canadian experience class? Well, if you want to do that, it's the Come to Canada tool. So just Google Come to Canada and permanent residence, and then you can determine whether or not you meet the, the requirements for CEC. Absolutely, Raj, historic day. So, so historic. And um, thanks so much, Mark. You're the best. I couldn't sleep. I watched you read my question and answer it and felt having relieved. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm grateful. All right, we're going to wrap it up here in a little bit here. Um, waiting period is going to be beyond one year out of Canada. It Absolutely, I'm sure it will. All right. And um, processing time for these 27,000. Hey, good luck. I think, um, you know, I think right now they're processing about nine months for in-Canada applicants. So I have to assume it's going to be pretty close to that. They're going to be dedicating a lot of time to this. Um, applicants already submitted. Yeah, you guys are just going to have to understand that until the travel restrictions are lifted, you are going to be um, just in limbo. But you're in. You're in and you're not going to lose that. So remember. All right. Uh, IELTS booked for the 18th and I'm not prepared for IELTS. Before that, I have to compete. Okay. Sounds good. All right. And uh, Paramala says, hey, what about PNP? My husband, 386 score. Is it possible he can PNP? Outlanders, it's going to be tough. With the scores that low, it's going to be really tough because there are so many, there's probably 75 to 80,000 people above. So I don't think that's probably going to drive. I really don't. Okay. Rashid says, my CC application is in progress. Submitted April 2020. Now with all the ITAs, new applications, how will it affect? They're talking about nine months. So April 2020, yes, you are. You should be getting something fairly soon. Unless, of course, you come from a country where the security and everything is just going to take a little bit longer. All right. As far as the fresh grads uh, for international students, um, Abdul, um, well, one of the things I do know is that anyone who convinced someone to go to school and to continue paying international rates to a Canadian school when you weren't in Canada, you, at this stage, you're not getting any express entry points. And that's the sad part. And I told people that. But you do still get credit towards your post-grad work permit when you complete those studies. But unless you've completed over 50% of those, you're simply not like 50% of your course in Canada. Right now, as it stands, and I just had a meeting with the officers on Friday, there is no additional points being awarded um, for anyone who has gone to school remotely from their home country and uh, has not completed at least 50% of that schooling in Canada. So, all right. Abhishek says 461. Uh, what are the chances of getting an Ontario PNP? I will, let's see. I think I've got a bell here. I'm going to ring that bell and I'm going to say, dude, <laughs> that's a discussion for a consultation. Get over to my office and book a consult. There's a link below. Okay. Um, Rishikesh, how's Canada dealing with COVID? Do you think travel restrictions will left in the next six months? I don't think so. I really don't. I think it's going to be the end of the year before we see things lifting. Um, all right. Let's see what else we've got here. I'll answer your question here. Feed Yoga just accumulated the requested amount, 12.8 for proof of funds. So can I apply for express entry? Doesn't mean I must need this amount throughout six months, right? You need to have it when you submit your application. You don't need to have had it through the whole six months. No, 
if you saved your money and you built it up, built it up until right before you submit your EAPR, then yes, you're good to go. You don't need to show that you've had that full amount for six months. Anyone who's telling you that doesn't understand express entry. All right. Okay. Rashid application is inland. Uh, Abdul just finished his master's. Um, if you want to know Abdul, click on the link below, register for my step-by-step -step express entry step-by-step -step course where I personally lead people in a private group where I answer the questions specifically. And that guide is awesome. It is full of everything you could need. So it's going to be filling up quick. I've opened up a brand new one that will start on February the 22nd. I'm just finishing a group right now this week coming up here, week two, and then we're going to start a brand new one. Okay. Is there any CC draws this year? Thanks. There will probably be other ones, James. Um, okay. Uh, Kashav says he's got 475. Any chance of getting an ITA? If they do a round of invitations, it's possible for you. Um, okay. I'm a PR and my spouse and kids have got COPER last month. Can I bring them to Canada in April, 2021? It just all depends on the travel restrictions. And right now that is the challenge that we're dealing with. Okay. Uh, good afternoon to you, Divine. Good afternoon. Um, let's see here. What are the odds of getting an ITA as an offshore applicant 468? Um, turning 31 this March, any hope for next draw? I think your the likelihood is low, but anything can happen just like we saw recently. Who would have imagined as we flip the screen over and as we look at these rounds of invitations, who would have dreamed that we would have been looking at this? Number of invitations issued, 27,332 and a minimum score of 75. And the reality is I just want to post this ticker just so that you guys can see this is absolutely the biggest draw ever. February the 13th, CRS 75, number of invitations, 27,332. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. All right. Okay. Um, let's see here. Can I add my spouse? This one's covered in the course. It is covered in detail. Register for the course. February the 22nd, it starts. All those questions will be answered. All right. Divine says, graduated with my bachelor's degree. I've got a diploma. Like to continue master's. Great. Uh, feed yoga. You're very welcome. <laughs> okay. I want to book express entry through you and my wife. How much would be price mark Rajpreet? The best thing in the world right now. I absolutely love to represent people. And so all you have to do is click on the link below, book a consult and, and, we, we will go through everything, ensure, you know, make sure that you're eligible. And then from there, decide if us using our collaborative review model, which you can also find on our website is right for you. But right now, I'll be honest, the most cost effective thing that you guys can do is to subscribe to the express entry step-by-step -step course. Not only is it 56 individual videos, but it is me going into a private Facebook group with you and all of the other subscribers, right now the course is, is capped at 250. I don't take any more than that. And over a period of two weeks, essentially 10 days, 10 individual one hour sessions, we go through every part of the express entry application. And I can tell you hands down that that is the best value for you. Now, if you just want Mark Holthy, express entry lawyer, if you just want me to help you, I would love to work with you. Click uh, the link below, book a consult, and we can connect right away, Rushpreet. All right, Abdul, you're very welcome, my friend. Um, yeah, Himanchi says, IT received in the previous draw, but two years of Canadian experience will be in March 2021. Need to apply after completion of two years. Himanchu, I guess, I don't know how you got an ITA if you hadn't yet completed your, <laughs> your two years. Um, okay, I'll just leave it at that. Maybe they rounded up for you, right? Maybe they rounded up. Uh, FSW draw soon. Ooh, it's unlikely. Uh, Mark price for a uh, couple express entry. Yeah. So we already talked about that. It's, uh, and, and for our collaborative review process, I charge $4,000 Canadian and you can see that all on my website. Okay. Facebook, they're <laughs> prompting other people. Thanks a lot, sir. You're very welcome. Uh, Adil. <laughs> Thanks. Best lawyer. <laughs> Adil, you're awesome. All right. Um, let's see here. Okay, this person in the Express Entry Law Private Facebook group says, I've created a permanent resident online portal to get COPER last month. Can my brother claim 15 points for my side? No. 
or he has to wait for COPR. Yeah, no, that's not enough. You got to be actually living in Canada and have your confirmation of permanent residence. So um, I know that you're just in the process of finalizing. Um, the difference between the emails that come versus the portal is that the emails say, congratulations, you're a permanent resident. But I wouldn't rely on uh, the portal until you actually get the results back. Okay. Um, okay. Cecilia says, kindly let me know to apply for a PNP or I'm going to ring the bell right here and tell you to slide over and book a consult and we can go through your application in detail. All right. Let's see what we got here. CEC with 390 score, but unfortunately I wasn't in the pool. Oh, well, I think like this is just the beginning, you guys. This is just the beginning. I think many of you know I'm the national chair for the Canadian Bar Association. We recently had meetings with the immigration minister, Minister Mendocino. Uh, one of the things that we provided to him was some suggestions on what to do to meet this massive 401,000 quota. Um, the Canadian Bar Association are awesome members, the other lawyers. We all put together our thoughts, ideas, and then we transmitted them to the minister. And number two on our list, number two, was lowering the express entry round of invitations. Who in their right mind, who would have ever imagined that it would have been this, that the biggest draw ever in the history of express entry, February the 13th is going to go down in history, lowest score 75, 27,332 invitations extended. This is unbelievable. If you're in Canada, the express entry step-by-step -step course is the route to go. You cannot take a chance. You cannot risk the possibility that you make some goofy, simple mistake that causes your application to get returned. If it does, you are hooped. You do not get a second chance to pick a new knock. You don't get a second chance to fix a reference letter that's off. You don't get a chance to get your application resubmitted if it gets returned. I do not see scores dropping down to 75 ever again. I think this is a one-time miraculous thing and we'll see how it plays out. Maybe they'll continue, maybe they won't, but you just simply don't get a second chance. So that's why I created the course. Heck, if you want to hire me, that's fine. I'm happy to do it. But what I do is I leverage what I do. I leverage my knowledge by running the master class, by bringing in a whole bunch of people who are all working through the process together in the same way. It's super efficient. You guys all pool your money together to pay for the cost of hiring me when in reality, it's not legal advice, but I answer questions. The course is there set out. I provide information to you to help you avoid the most common reasons why applications are returned. And that's what I do. I love doing it. So click on the link below and you can get in right now before it's filled up and it is filling quickly. All right, uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, does it matter what amount of funds we say we can bring into Canada while making express entry profile if we enter more than the minimum amount? No, the key here for, for everything that you're doing here, Verzius, is that you demonstrate you have enough funds to meet the minimum that IRCC requires. If your bank accounts at home have more money in them, it doesn't matter than what you say you're going to bring with you as long as what you say is um, is actually at the level where um, where uh, you, you're above that cutoff. Okay, I'll answer a few more questions then I'm going to wrap it up because it is 1.17 a.m. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see what we've got here. Uh, yeah, says one status in Canada changes from working to PR. Do we have to get our Canada driver's license updated? When you become a permanent resident, your driver's license will then be extended for a lot longer than your temporary status document. So yeah, you will get it up to updated. Okay. To be in CC doesn't mean to live now in Canada. You're right, Yari. You do not have to be in Canada to qualify under the Canadian experience class. If you've obtained your, um, one year of work experience in Canada, and you then go home and that work experience is within the three year period immediately preceding um, you getting your invitation to apply, then yeah, you don't have to be in Canada to qualify through CEC. Uh, don't you think there won't be any draws for the next two months? Who knows what's gonna happen? Personally, it's entirely possible that they will continue to do it. Remember, this is 27,000. The government has said they're, br they're gonna bring in over 401,000 this year. 
All the outlanders are not coming anytime soon. They have to fill those quotas, but even then, it's not going to be enough. Watch. More is on its way. There is more coming. This is just the beginning. All right. Uh, okay, please guide. 27K will create delay in processing time of old applicants whose applications are currently in process. I'm an offshore applicant. Absolutely, everything will be delayed. But understand your delay is more because of the travel restrictions than it is anything to do with processing. The visa offices in your country are probably closed. There's been issues with the VAX being able to do biometrics, with uh, getting the final visas issued. All of those things have caused delays. It's not just Canada, but your own country. And so it just depends where you're at. But until the travel restrictions are lifted, yeah, you're facing a long, a long haul. But you're in. Think of how many people that are not. Okay, uh, next CC predictions. I'm going to go out on a limb and say they're going to do another deep call. Why not? I'm going to say they're going to pull everybody out again. That's what I think. I think they're going to keep pulling people out for the next while. Hey, if they've gone down and pulled everyone out now, why, won't, why, why shouldn't they just keep doing it, right? People in Canada are what we call low-hanging fruit. They're the easiest ones to transition to permanent resident status. And so eh, if you want me prognosticating and speculating, then why not? I say we're going to have more CEC draws where they scoop everybody out, at least until they're sure that they've got enough to meet quotas or at least come close. All right, uh, let's see what else here. Okay, Ronak says, if I apply now in CC, is it possible to get an invitation in this draw? No, not in this draw. This one's closed. You'd have to wait for next ones. Um, okay, uh, all right. Uh, Fintus says, hi, I've been working in Canada since January. Just started a skilled job. Is it worth creating an application or should I wait for one year um, work experience? If you are eligible under the Federal Skilled Worker Program with foreign work experience, get yourself in the pool. Do, do it. Subscribe to the course, figure out everything that you need to do. Step by step, I walk you through it. Get your profile in and then just wait. And if there's no federal skilled worker draw, that's okay. Once you get your one year, then you can uh, claim that CEC. Now, there's going to be a little bit of a dance because if you just started in January, we, you know, January of 2020, if you said you've been working in Canada since January 2020, but just started a skilled job this month, I don't know if any of that previous work experience was actually eligible, but if you, you know, you have to kind of balance, but I always like to get my profiles in as soon as possible. There's no harm in doing it. You can always go around and update it. Okay, Amy says, bonjour, Mark, and merci beaucoup for all you, for, for all you do for us. Any chance of SOW draw this year? Absolutely, there's a chance. Anyone who says that there isn't a chance, they don't know what they're talking about. There's absolutely a chance. Okay, what's the easiest way to Canada immigrate with kids? I'm going to ring the bell. Click the, the, the link in the, in the bottom here in the description. Let's set up a consult and I can walk through it with you. Um, okay, Ripu says, hey, thanks for the advice. When can we expect the next draw? Well, it can take two to three months. Well, who knows? We'll have to see. Maybe in two weeks, IRCC decides to do another draw and pull out all the fresh new Canadian experience class candidates. We just don't know. We don't know. But I'm going to, if I can say whatever I want. And hey, I knew that it was going to go down. I knew it. Last Saturday, I told you guys that it was going to go down. And I said it could potentially even break 413 or even go lower. No one ever dreamed that it would be everybody pulled out, which is crazy for CEC, but it happened. So everything's on the table now. Okay. Uh, Himanshu says two months of layoff updated in profile. Still issued ITA, is it legitimate? Not if you're laid off, my friend. Then you, you can't count work experience that you didn't actually do. <coughs> Mustafa, thank you so much for your dedication. All right. Uh, Jason says, hey, do you think immigrants, immigrants might come before tourists, especially when new quarantine measures? Sweet dreams, Mark. Yes, I think they do. I, absolutely. New immigrants will rank ahead of tourists coming in. So that I can guarantee. Um, okay, can you tell me about new Alberta startup program for international just past students? I am going to ring this bell. Omniscient, book a consult. We can talk about it. This is brand new. Alberta is just exploring the possibilities of these startups for international students, for STEM kids, science, technology, you know, um, engineering, mathematics, that whole area. 
And those who have great ideas and are looking at working through the incubators and the, the different referral programs to get um, businesses started up in Alberta, absolutely, we can talk about it. Okay, let's see here. Raj Preet says, only, Raj, are you an immigration consultant? Uh, usually people who have these stats like to show how smart they are. And I'm assuming you must be. <laughs> yes, only 108,000. 108, okay, do the math here. 108,000 in 2021 out of 401 through express entry. They already invited 37,000 in two months. Yes, they invited 37,000. That does not mean that 37,000 people are actually going to become permanent residents for any number of reasons. Applications are refused. People entered the information in, improperly into their portals. Um, IRCC finds mistakes. There's misrepresentation. There is, a, there is a large number of people that get their applications rejected even though they submitted them um, and got the ITA. So even 37,000 does not equate to 37,000 immigrants. It does, just doesn't happen. So is there room in 108,000 total when we've just received 27,000? You tell me, my friend, there's a freaking boatload more room and it will happen. Lots more draws, lots more invitations, lots more room. All right. Uh, okay, Omniscient, you're pulling a whole bunch of things in here, a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just going to highlight you, ring the bell, all of that's specific to you that isn't really general in nature. Book a consult. We can go through it. All right, let's see what Akash says. President Trudeau's Strom is coming. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, guys, we're going to just wrap that up here. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was informative. Those of you who participated in this express entry, well, who benefited from this express entry surprise draw and saw this unbelievable 75 points as the lowest round of invitations, well, it's just going to be amazing. So um, we'll see how this all plays out. But boy, would I sure love to meet the person who had 75. That would be so cool. If you watched the beginning of the video, I talked about that and how the potential configurations are to get at that 75 points. And for individuals that are applying uh, on their own as single, you can't hit 75, at least I'm, unless I'm missing something. So the person has to have had a spouse who was contributing with some points. All right, guys. Thanks so much. It was an absolute pleasure. As always, you guys are so much fun. You keep things so real. And uh, uh, Berserius, thank you. Good night to you. And good night to you, Rajpreet. Absolutely. Take care, guys.